All right. Welcome, everybody, today to um, another edition of the Super Mario Brothers 3 Randomizer Tournament. This is part of the bracket stages, and we've got a good one today for you. Um, I'm the Haxer, and today I am joined by Pro A007. How's it going, man? Good, good. And yeah, this is a big one. Um, in another year, this would be the finals. This year, it's the quarterfinals. Uh, our last two champions going head to head, uh, also for the third straight year. Uh, Macobra, the 2019 champion, versus Mitch Flower Power, the 2020 champion. So, yeah, this is huge. Uh, the winner of this match uh, will move on to the semifinals and will actually face my co commentator, uh, the Hacksaw, uh, next week. So, uh, yeah, I know why you're here. Uh, I'm also here, I guess, not completely <laughs> out of uh, altruism, because uh, I'm also a semifinalist. Uh, so I may well be facing one of these uh, fine competitors uh, in uh, the finals of the third place game. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, I'm, as you mentioned, in another year, it could have been the finals, and that year was last year, so. <laughs> yeah exactly and it did go yeah. five games so um we ha i know we haven't had a ton of three game series but you no. know if there is one that's a good contender it's probably this one yeah only five of the 19 matches so far have gone the distance uh yours yesterday uh with stewie cartman went uh went three but yeah those have been outliers so far uh yeah so Quick recap, uh, McCobra is the two seed with an average time of 33-30 through his group play matches. Mitch, the seventh seed, uh, has an average of 34-44 uh, through his six matches. So, uh, yeah, this uh, these runners are ready to go. Um, and McCobra, the 2019 champion, uh, defeated uh, Mitch 2-zip uh, in the... Um, semifinals in 2019 and then 2020 mitch won the championship uh three games to two over um uh, cobra so the rubber match between these two we lead off in world one with a one fort world and it is 5f2 and both runners synced up perfectly here yeah nice uh safe fort to get started here you can p-speed through just with your normal uh, vanilla P speed strats, which both these runners are going to be very familiar with. Although, you know, Macover is a little more accomplished on the random randomizer side of things. He's also a fairly accomplished uh, vanilla speed runner as well. Yeah, yeah. These, these, uh, Mitch, obviously, I would say is probably like number one or number two in the world. Macover is in the top fifteen, I'd say, uh, with very good uh, warpless and hundo times uh, to his credit. Um, so he knows his. Oh, but. Unfortunately, got a little tied up there. Yeah, so that's a tough one. Not not uh, not one you want to take against Mitch, and then of course you know immediately getting the unfair hammer bro fight. Um, and yeah. for that reason is why we see Mitch hitting the mushroom house, which isn't something you see um, you know even someone like Mitch do very often. But um, I don't really blame him here because let's see what we get. Okay, didn't need to do it, but you know. Better be safe than sorry. Yeah, Macobra is probably not going to go for the ha for the hammer uh, for the for the mushroom house, but he will take on the hammer bro and get a uh, pretty easy draw there. So yeah, two unfortunate deaths there early for uh, Macobra, but we got a lot of game left to be played, and the mushroom house kind of offset some of his time loss. Yeah, absolutely. Um... You know, Mitch is going to be the first one out of the world here. Does have a tail to his name, which could be a nice item at the start of the next world. You know, whether it's damage boosting through levels, flying through forts, you know, it, it, it's actually a pretty nice utility item. Yeah. Yeah, it, it kind of goes against that idea in, um, in uh, vanilla where you rarely use the tail uh, because it's not as fast as, you know, being regular Mario yeah. or Fire Mario. But uh, here, it can really uh, give you a little bit of flexibility to work with, and for some levels, it's particularly uh, advantageous. Yeah, absolutely. It, you know, the, the d main difference here, and of course, we get a fort right off the bat, and having the tail, he's going to, you know, check it out, and we get 3F1 here. So 
Probably won't see door three, I would imagine, but, uh, you know, it's out there. Yeah, I, uh, putting those P-Speeds, that's a very good use on the Cobra right behind him. There's a 12-second difference between the runners uh, through World 1. Uh, and McCobra is going to make a pit stop for the item, gets a mushroom, gets his mushroom back. He's going to go for a second helping, uh, sees the tail, and like, no thanks. Yeah, I think he's hoping for a fire flower there. Um, yeah. Which, yeah, I don't blame him waiting for that tail to fall. Meanwhile, Mitch in 5-2 here um, can be a little unfair sometimes off that pipe entry off the start. You might get a boss bass that just immediately golfs you, but, um, you know, pretty safe one here. Except for that Paragoon, of course. Yeah, so 5-2 fi yeah, fi yeah, five is a weird stage at the outset, but otherwise it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, it, you can't really do the slide strats, because as you notice, they're the, the Paragoopas, the Paragoopas, and those will damage you while sliding, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, we have our first one of nine Lost Level stages, uh, a 1-6 beta. Uh, not a particularly difficult stage, although it does seem to have an abundance of fire chops and snakes. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Absolutely. And yeah, so I got a question of what's randomized. So the world order, the level order, um, the number of obstacles that are in your way in each world that, uh, you know, you require forts to complete to get past. So such as bridges that are out or locks, um, the airships at the end of the world as well. And we've also added some additional um, levels to it that uh, were found in the code of the game. And then the enemy sets that you find within the levels are also reference. So Mitch actually picked up a hammer there, and he actually is going to use it here. Uh, an interesting choice on his part. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to help him much. Uh, he skips one stage. Ooh. He probably would have rather used it there, huh? But I... Ooh, okay. Makoka's going to... Gonna save it. So that could be big if he can skip 6-6 six, six here. That's gonna save a lot of time. Yeah, absolutely. And he gets, uh, tanks. Uh, and... He, you know, 6-6 six, six is not a particularly pleasant stage, as Mitch is rediscovering once again. This is not any fun at all. But, you know, it could be one of those stages you kind of just grin and bear it. It's like, oh, fine, just get it over with it. Oh, man, the Paracoopas, too. Yikes. Yeah. So, just a star there. So, Cobra on his way now to dealing with uh, double fire uh, bros. Yeah, you'll notice the... Uh, oh, he's definitely gonna hammer here. He's gonna save so much time with this. Well, let's, he's gonna, he's gonna be, Well, I think he's gonna take a look. He's like, he's like, well, how bad is it gonna be? Well, yeah, it's not great. Oh, he's gonna stick stick with it. I I, I kind of agree with this. I we still have World Three. The double hammer play is a potential, is a possibility. Yeah, that's true. World Two is still in play. World Four, even even though that's extremely unlikely, uh, could still be a thing. Skip one stage there. Mitch is in the Air Force yeah, right now, and gunning through it. Thank Thankfully, a stage that, you know, works out pretty well is Small Mario, um, believe it or not, so not, yeah, not too terribly it, difficult. You know, if you miss an A-press, you're gonna take a death either way in that one, probably. Yeah. So we have, uh, this is a three-fourth world, and they're all fairly linear in terms of the draw, so, uh, you know... Not that, not a bad thing. Like there's no uh, second guessing here. Um, you gotta play it, play it straight through. So six F one, uh, Mitch is in uh, elevator four. Ooh, takes a hit there to the to the drive. Almost got hit by a disco waffle. Uh, Does pick ahead. up a star? I, he's not gonna make it, so he's gonna have to you know stop and hope for that one too. But yeah, well that's all right. Uh, speeds things up. Yeah, not, right. not too bad here. 
or forts anyway. This one's just kind of long. Um, thankfully, you know, the the forts are kind of in the way to the end of the world, so, right. you know, I don't know about you, but sometimes it's a relief, because you know your opponent doesn't have a huge advantage, potentially, by just choosing the correct board. Right, no, yeah, this, uh, if you're gonna, World 6 can be tricky that way, because you can get some ugly, uh, patterns there, as far as that goes, and, uh, you, you could have to make some un unpleasant decisions, but this time it was pretty linear. But 6 can be, uh, can be nasty if it wants to be. So we yep. have a, we have a one-stage gap between our runners. Mitch uh, checking out his anchor gets a P-Wing, and it's the World 4 airship. Not the airship you want to see with the P-Wing, but, um, you know, knowing this boss, it's, it's a good equip, because if you get a 5-hitter, you just, you know, you want power-ups against him. He's, he's probably yeah. the toughest, I would say, personally. Yeah, he, he certainly can be. Uh, normal Wendy with five hits is also is not any fun yeah. at all. Yeah, she's kind of in the same boat, you know, on these uneven stages, really difficult mm -hmm. to navigate yeah. sometimes. If you can get Fire Mario in the World 4 airship with Lemmy, that's an easy fire kill. That's probably one of the easiest. So, uh, got a P-Wing there. So we're in World 7 now for Mitch. Uh... All right, so we got uh, a kind of more obvious path here for him, at least. You know, one pipe's useless. So that, that's always a good sign. Honestly, if I if I see... I want two worthless pipes right off the bat. I don't know about you, because then I know that, exactly where to go. That That is preferable, yes. Um, that That is what I would hope for. If, you know, if it's three pipe Monty, you hope that two of the pipes roll snake eyes. Um... So, uh, I don't know if that parallel made any sense, but anyway, uh, yep. <laughs> so 6 2 uh, for Mitch. Uh, it is a one fort world. Uh, we saw, I saw, we saw a 10 there. He saw, he knows where he has to go. He's trying, he's racing to that pipe to get to that fort because it's gonna have to, it's required. Yeah, so he took note of where it was, um, and being that we don't see any obstacles, it's a pretty safe bet that you're going to need to play it, so this yeah. isn't that much of a gamble from him. No. Yeah, th this is pretty uh, pretty straightforward as far as everything goes. Uh, Mitch is in Piranha Ford 7F2, uh, using a pair of stars to help get him through the opening room. One of the, For new players, one of the scariest rooms in the game, just because everything is basically out to get you. Yeah, we see Mitch wanting to conserve this power-up, because um, he doesn't have a ton of inventory right now. I would, you know, think if he had more inventory, he'd probably just damage boost there, but... Yeah. Um, you know, it's kind of a risk going into these levels small. Mm -hmm. and, and that and that is part of the, uh, the trick with uh, turning brackets, is you are going to have to be a little more conservative with your style at times, because your inventory is going to be artificially low. Uh, so Mitch getting uh, getting right to the heart of the matter here, uh, yeah. going to Piranha 2. Wow, nice. Nice pipe draw. Yeah, uh, beautiful there. So, you know, just based on that, we know the fort was required because at minimum it's two stages mm -hmm. or a fort. And since he was only able to get there in two stages, we know it was required. So Yeah. So, yeah, and the lock was, like, right in front of the castle on top of all of that. So, yeah, it would 100% required. Uh, we're in the World 2 airship. Um, so, we've seen that one, two... All our forts have been required so far. There, there's been no optional fort play here. That's a good item usage of the star in the Piranha Plant level. You know, if you don't have a music box, probably the best play. Yeah, 12-12 uh, uh, wand grab for Mitch. McCobra is going to use one of his two P-Wings. He's got two hammers, so keep that in mind, chat. Um, he can... He's still got places to use them. Mitch has no hammers. So, McCobra could turn the tables uh, here. Mitch has one. 
Oh, he has one? Okay, yep. If, if double hammer play comes into effect here in World 3... Well, not quite. Uh, you have a World 2 here. And Macobra getting the off-screen there, gonna save a little bit of time, so... If you catch that wand off-screen, it uh, skips the falling animation, as we'll see at the end here. And he goes right to the king room. Yeah, he, got, he gained a little bit of time. He was 36 seconds behind um, Mitch uh, to three worlds. So now we're in world two. Yeah, that was a really great P-Wing usage because not only did he get the off-screen, he drew one of the best airships to have on him as well. Yeah, World World 2, 6, and 7 are the best ones to use it in, um, just because of uh, the uh, constant elevation changes. Oh, so here's a good hammer slot. Uh, okay, it's 1 fort. Now, the trick with 1 fort, if you don't know, is logic always assumes you go for the item. So, by definition, it cannot stop you from finishing the, uh, the world. On the other hand, in this case, not going for... Going for the item would actually make this world much longer. Yeah, so this is going to save him, I believe, A stage. Um, you know, playing uh, this. Two, uh, two stages. He doesn't have to play two, one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, if he just, you know, used the pipe and went one, right. three. I, yeah, oh, and then he's oh, brother. Wow. Cobra is is holding onto his hammers. Yeah, I think he kind of made it clear when he didn't use it in six that he's gambling on World Three. Um, you know, having the the death start there, which honestly has happened to me a lot this year. I think a lot more than it did last year, even. One of those things. It kind it kind of runs in cycles. Got a thick Morton, so. So yeah, Mitch is going to have this lead here, um, and it'll be significant for a while. Um, it's really going to come down to probably World 3. Yeah, yeah that that's where we're at here as far as this match is concerned. If McCobra get, can skip about four stages, um, he's going to swing He's going to swing the momentum back. Uh, he, he did get to... His, the stages he did choose to play, 6-3 and 6-4, weren't terrible. There's another hammer. No. Uh... Man. Oh, the double hammer is oh. not... Oh, yeah, double hammers. Well, I mean... It could be... Or was that the end right there? Did Mitch uh, find the end? Did he? Because if he didn't find the end, there still is a double hammer play here, technically, going into that Tec pipe. Technically, yeah, but it's not saving the kind of time we would hope it would save. We got yeah. six nine on Macobra's screen. He's holding onto his cloud as well. Mitch used it to skip the stage. Uh, Mitch is in uh, Fort Knox, uh, 7F1. Yeah, I, I would assume that he saved the hammers. He's probably just going to use them immediately and go to that pipe. I don't... <laughs> I, would, uh, I, would, I mean, he, he could save it for World 4, but it just, you know, the, at best you get to skip a stage, and that's pretty rare. Yeah, okay, so, alright, so Mitch is going to check the the, uh, the pipe at the starting gun, and, okay, takes him off to the side, so, okay, um... His path is free, because um, we do see that lock there still, so yeah. um, you just got to find the pipe now. Oh, double hammer is out. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. That, could, that really could kill this run for, uh, for, for McCobra. We'll see. So we got about a few worlds to play here. We got 1702 for... Cobra, Mitch is about to take on Wendy in her vanilla World 3 airship. Very nice kill. Yeah, 1727. Uh, so, just have 
worlds uh, four and five left. Uh, we have one, two, four, five, six. We have nine forts left in play. Um, so, wish I could share this on the screen, but uh, you know, wonder what'll be in uh, world eight. Well, it's probably a guarantee of three F two. That is that is still in play, yeah. World two fort, three F two, both the world four forts, five F one, six F two, Navy, eight fort, and super tanks are still in play. Yeah, super tanks is another one that seems like shows up there a lot. Yeah. So Double hammer guess yeah, doesn't get work. Princess gives another hammer. Yeah, there, there's a certain logic to that. <laughs> hey, I played a seed yesterday where, you know, I, Stewie and I didn't get any hammers, and then we got four after they were useful, so... Yeah, that's happened a couple of times to me in the last uh, month or so. Uh, it's like... The, I, I'm sure Fred won't admit it. The game does have a certain uh, sardonic sense of humor <laughs> about this kind of stuff. Yes, let me give you these items that will now be useless and clutter your inventory. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's a perfect system. So, Macobra is not in the airship. Uh, Mitch uh, took care of 4F2, so 4F1's got to be very close by. Because reasons. Probably the blue one right there, yeah. Uh, uh yeah. Seeing the lock at the, the beginning of the world there. You, you, you know, feel you feel good about that one because you know that you're not gonna have to play the other four if it wasn't in the route, of course. Mm -hmm. All right, so Mitch is in the quicksand stage. The Cobra grabs the wand at 1936, so holding steady on his about two minute deficit. So he's yeah, this one's moving by pretty quick. This is gonna be one of the longer worlds. It looks like. Yeah, something's wrong here. I rolled this scene, you know, they should be, you know, cursing me by now. Well, then the five tile is going to be Atlantis. I'm calling it right now. All right, there we go. You heard it here first. And the World 4 forts are not paired. Uh, two forts is uh, gatekeeping. Yeah, that's interesting. All right. Gets a nice star there. Great item. It's gonna be able to now one cycle this room with P speed. Yeah. And actually, uh, Dust Minion brought up a good point. If that five tile is Atlantis, that's big for McCobra because he still has his cloud. Oh, that's true. Yep. That's that is kind of what he needs at this point to get back in this one because that one is over a minute long. Yeah, instead it's 2-4, but World 4 could still have something forced, so we'll see. But yeah, it's like, well, that, help, that helped uh, Mustard in our match on Wednesday. He was, like, I think two, two and a half minutes behind. He had a cloud I'd already used, and he got to skip Atlantis, so he went from, like, 2.30 down to, like, le about 1.15, just like that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it's always a tough decision on where to use those. It seems like when you use them early, it tends to bite you later on, uh, at mm -hmm. least in my experience. But, you know, sometimes it doesn't, I guess. And uh, part of the reason why, if I see 5-9 early, I might just play it. Because, you know, I have a feeling something worse is coming. I've had it happen a lot of times. <laughs> Yeah, so with Cobras in the uh, World Four, World Two Fort, uh, Mitch is dealing with a five-hit Roy in his vanilla airship. Uh, so we have World Four remaining. The World Six airship is last. If they have a tail, they might arm themselves with that ahead of time and uh, save themselves a little bit of time. Yeah, I've seen them collect a couple P-Wings. I'm not sure. I think McCobra might have used his already, though. I believe he has, yes. So... So 21.45 for McCobra uh, through, uh, through, five, through six worlds. We now enter World 4. And, okay, so we have... Um, a level here, uh, 7-9, um, 
Mitch not going to go for the pipe clips. Yeah, this is kind of unfortunate when you think about it because uh, this is a great level for Macobra to cloud, but um, it's such a huge risk for him to do so. Uh, yeah, this port on the other side. So yeah, uh, unless he really goes for broke and it's like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna do this. You know, then he'd be then he'd be justified. But uh, even then, honestly, if I were him, I might just make that play because he has to know yeah. that Mitch probably used hammers, right? Oh, Cobra does not have his cloud anymore? Oh, he skipped the stage, okay. Okay. So that explains yeah, his... This... Uh... Yeah, yeah, okay. But, okay, oh. here we go. 3 of 2 <laughs> Yeah, okay. So yeah, the Cobra is about 84, is 84 seconds back um, with uh, one to go. Oh, he skipped the fort. Thank you. Okay, he skipped uh, 4 f 2 so yeah, that... Explains the time jump. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Appreciate it. So yeah, uh, Mitch deciding to go this route first, and they're both going to make the same choice, because, you know, you have to play this for it to complete the world, so just in terms of, you know, right. number of levels played, it just, it makes the most logical sense, even though you see the other one first. Right. And it does, indeed, build uh, the bridge. So, uh, the Cobra actually missed out on a chance to shave a few seconds there, as he had Raccoon Mario going in, he could have flown up. Unfortunately, did not work out. Um, because Cheap Cheap has to ruin everything, because that's what he does. Yep, not, uh, the most fun enemy to get in any level, really. So, Macobra, uh, Mitch dealing with Iggy, uh, three hits. Oh, deciding to fight the bros. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not sure. I, I, I think I know what he's going for. I think, well, he's probably hoping for a hammer at the hammer suit at this point. Yeah, they don't have a Bowser item that I've seen, so that makes sense. Yeah, and, like, and gets knife and gets and strikes out P-Wing and um, Mushroom. Alright, so World 8, the Great Equalizer. Uh, three pipes, a lock, and 8-2. Interesting. I mean, I like seeing the level in the corner off the bat, but uh, I don't really like seeing the three pipes. Yeah, I got my pref my preferred choice is one of everything. Yep, pretty much. We can get a hand oh. in the middle of nowhere, a level in the middle of nowhere, and a pipe and a fort. You know, it's pretty good. Yeah, Take three. That. So three pipes, check, and okay, we have two bridges and a hand behind the and a hand behind the pipe. So he know it maybe is going to be his first destination right off the bat. Over his yeah, at, the, at, at this point, you just play two forts, you know, um, if you don't see anything break on the screen, you go back to the home screen and that lock's still there, then you go and you check. It's kind of the, the logic at this point. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, Cobra takes care of Iggy, Mitch takes care of Boom Boom. So, one minute, 40 seconds, separating our runners uh, through se after seven. Mitch, uh, okay, nothing broke there. There's eight for it, if, and it's a vanilla eight for it on top of that. Yeah, the, uh, rotor disc throwing them off there can be a little troublesome. Yeah. So we still have, um, what do we have left? Uh, 4F1, uh, 5F1, 6F2, and Super Tanks are still on the board. Uh, possibly we're gonna see two of those. Nice one cycle there, just kind of navigating through the enemies. He really does want to keep this Fire Flower. Um, yes. And he's going to try to do so, because uh, it, it is a nice time save in, in Bowser's Castle, but if he does have to lose it, you know, he'll accept that as more problem. All right, so, so lock let's go and play another one. Yep. Lock, in the lock in the corner breaks, so 
that could be that could be huge. That probably leads to the hand bridge. No. Um, and yeah, he was hoping this was a fort, and as we mentioned, because the flower is so valuable, he'll probably just play it. Um, he might have to go up in that upper section anyway. Um, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. there could be a pipe up there that brings him to where he wants to go to play those final forts. But yeah. yeah, exactly. He's gonna have to play these out regardless. Um, a cobra taking care of Booba. He took some damage there. Alright, so Super Tanks and Air Force are connected to each other now to get there. That's the trick. Okay, got there. Oh, and he gets he gets to go on the correct side there as well. Um, does lose the fire. I'm not sure... Hmm, it's a tough one. I mean, this is a lot faster with a tail. Um, but yeah, I'm not yeah, sure. I, oh yeah, he realized it now. Oof. Yep. Yeah, I think he just he just realized when he got there, he's like, wait, I shouldn't have done that. I don't have fire. Um, but not too big of a deal. I mean, yeah. you know, the reality is it's tough to keep. It's going to be tough for him to keep fire anyway. Yeah. Yeah, and there's still always the chance uh, he picks up something along the way. He's got a mushroom. He's got a P-Wing, so he'll burn yeah. the P-Wing on Super Tanks and another Fred. Super tanks in World 8. Never seen before. Hmm. So the Cobra is about a stage and a half behind. About a stage and a half to two stages behind right now. Um, probably, unless some insane mistake happens, I think Mitch is in pretty good shape right now. But uh, Cobra keeping it close ish. He's about a minute behind. Yeah, I, I agree with the play Mitch just did uh, because you just have to go through so many pipes to go all the way back that if it's the yeah. second fort, it's a huge amount of time to get back there. So, yeah. You know, playing it safe there. All right, so Mitch uh, is going to miss on sub-30, but uh, is on his way to a very good time in game one here of this uh, best of three quarterfinal. Yeah, it was a pretty, uh, pretty nice seed for the most part. I mean, I think the beginning was a little tough, but, you know, there weren't a lot of yeah. power up. But other than that, it was pretty generous, I would say. Yeah, so Mitt McCobra is going back. He's gonna check, uh, check uh, the item. Uh, it came up short. Uh, he's hoping for, um, a fire flower here. And he could get one here and he gets another star uh, not so bad he'll be able to get through this part pretty easily between the you know, star and he can damage boost if need be as well so yeah so Mitch needs five jumps uh, from uh, Bowser to take him out and here we go the old fashioned way Yep. Yeah, and uh, Mike, so if I was saying uh, Mitch led wire to wire, that is correct. He uh, did not was not trailing in any of the splits um, for the world splits. Well, I'm a Cobra showing off some swag there. So uh, cl closes the gap. Uh, Pretty nicely, I will say. He did a very nice job, but unfortunately, the double hammer gambit did not pay off here. And Mitch Flower Power will score a game one win, finishing with an official race time of 31:40. GG's out, for Mitch for race one. So yeah, it was just it kind of came down to that gamble, right? That McCover made. Um, yep. It just unfortunately and... didn't work out. Yeah, it, it's a fairly low percentage play, truth be told, but if it pays off, it is enormously helpful. Unfortunately, the pipes and the map draw was uh, not uh, gi not giving him yeah. uh, what, what he needed. And, you know, it's, it's totally justifiable. He... Yes. Maybe he feels like going in that, um, you know, he needs some of those things to go his way to win this. Um, and, yeah, that's that's fair. 
Um, it just didn't happen this time. But yeah, um, you know, we'll be working on rolling the next seed. Um, and we'll be back shortly with a little more action. So, you know, take a little bit of a break, guys. We'll be back and uh, talk about what needs to happen in game two. So, all right, brothers, just about ready to kick this one off here. Game two of this best of three quarterfinal. The winner will face the Hacksaw in... Uh in the semifinals next week, and we have a 3 4 World 3. I can tell you right now that uh, I don't know how McCover feels about this, but Mitch seeing this as the first world, he feels pretty good right now. Yeah, and with both of them taking a hit to that drunk hot foot, uh, McCover's the first to boom boom, uh, Mitch not far behind. So yeah, Macobra, you know, going a little riskier on the Boom Boom kill. Feeling like he's got to find some way to gain an advantage here. He's go yeah, he's going on the attack. Um, I kind of figured that was going to happen. Uh, so now, it'll be interesting to see what they decide to do here after they take care of the fort and uh, do those three six tile. Uh, do you play the third fort or do you do a little reconnaissance? I feel like here, because you're going to have to scroll the screen anyway, you might as well, you know, yeah. you play the third one. And uh, honestly, I probably would have just done it before, you know, playing any four. It's kind of like what Mitch is doing, it looks like. Yeah, so Cobra is playing 3F1. He will get uh, an orb kill on uh, Boom Boom. Yeah, if we don't see two obstacles on the other side of the screen scroll, you know, a bridge out and a lock, then pretty good assumption you're gonna have to play at least one of those. Yeah, probably. Uh, so Mitch uh, in 6-2, McCobra in 4-2. Mitch and McCobra played the fort off to the side there. Mitch decided not to. He wants to see what he's getting himself into first. Uh, there are three pipes on the other side of this map here. One of them will take him to take them to Wendy. Yep. So there aren't going to be a ton of levels over here. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the lock setups like. Bridge yeah, locks. He um, oh, we need the bridge. So okay. Oh, uh, no, we like don't need a bridge. Four. Never mind. Oh yeah, yeah. that's true. If McCobra gets that bridge, though... Yeah. Honestly, with the setup here, I think the play is probably to play both of them. I would think so, yeah. I uh, you gotta play this level anyway, so... You know, Mitch isn't yeah. gonna lose anything here playing this, but... He might change his mind after playing this and go back. Yeah. Mitch letting the, uh, the angry sun run free. One thing I like to do is, as I make that final left turn, I like to take the, um, uh, uh, the, one of the, uh, blocks and just, like, kick it out to the side here and just get rid of the angry sun. Like, one less enemy to have to deal with. Yeah, uh, the sun's kind of annoying. Makes it troublesome sometimes to grab these blocks, too, because of the sprite limits. Yeah, like, right, okay, Macobra, instead where he was, instead of using it on the Koopa, I would have used it on the Angry Sun. But he missed. Yeah, see, that's kind of what I figured with Mitch would go back. I think the play here is you just play both of them. Uh, yeah. It does get a little interesting, though, on Macobra's side if the bridge is still out, because he technically only has to play two stages either way. Right. One thing he might do uh, here is he's going to go... F I, oh, I thought he was going to flush dead right and just kind of see if anything was broken. Oh! oh there's a lock on the island! Wow! Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, that's Mitch. what... Okay. 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 They both did the same thing. Yeah, by, by a different route, uh, yes, but yeah, they, they stink up there. Macobra with a slight lead going into Wendy and gets keeps his P-speed. 
Yeah, um, you know, he's played the levels a little more aggressive than Mitch, and also... I don't think he... Did he fight as many Hammer Bros? I don't think he did. Uh, he played one more... I think he played both, uh, just like Mitch did. Oh, okay. Because okay. he... I, he had a forced draw, he had to play him. Uh, Mitch chose to play and got his P-Wing. So yeah, I mean, just the little extra routing, a little more aggressive play in the first fortress. He's opened a little bit of a lead here, not too much. I mean, it's yeah, you know, about a hammer yeah. bro. Yeah, 13 seconds uh, separating our runners uh, through world after World 3. Now we're into World 4, and we have an immediate fourth. Yeah, if I agree with this, you just go play it. Yeah. You see, you know, it's either going to build the bridge or break the lock, and you just know what you have to do from there. Right. This is a two-fort world, at least two-forts, so, you know, you're going to have to do this regardless. Um, so, but nice uh, 5F1. This is one of the few stages we did not, forts we did not see in game one. All right. And immediately rewarded, so very nice. All right, uh, the Cobra taking a second to kind of take take stock of his situation here. Uh, hammer actually could be useful here. Um, yep. Oh wait, no, it's not. Actually. Oh no, 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 never mind. No, never mind. <laughs> What, what it, it like, is never useful in this world, I swear. The Cobra, I don't know what the Cobra was doing there. Uh, he just lost his lead. Um, yeah, did he, did he forget what had broken? I, I'm not really sure. I, I think he might have just, yeah, I think he got a little twisted around with his routing, uh, but the Cobra retakes the lead. Uh, with a, as you say, yeah. he's really, he's really going for it here in game two. He's really pressing the attack. I think he just saw a bunch of pipes and he was confused. He was like, "Wait!" And then he was like, "No, wait! There's three pipes on the screen, so <laughs> there's nothing I can do." Okay. Yeah, uh, exactly. I've had that happen too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, wait, uh, what am I doing again? As sometimes it's better to just take a little time, you know, yeah. figure out what's going on, and then continue, you know, before you make a big mistake, so. Right. Cobra, both of them using their stars here to take out, um, the, uh, the hammer row, and, uh, actually they get different items. We got a star and a music box. Yeah, it looks like they fought opposite bros. Unfortunately, uh, he's going to be not happy. Oh, oh never mind. Wow. Okay. Um, never mind. He's going to be really happy he equipped that tail, because if that happened with the tail, it wasn't going to happen with Big Mario. Wow, what a stink. <laughs> man, oh man. So. Mitch, uh, able to skip the other hammer bro which only gave a star so um that's going to be a nice little advantage he has there yeah so we're in the world five airship uh normal leggy Ooh, hit boxed Yeah, the funny thing about that 7-1 clip, or 7-6 clip, they're both gonna feel good about it because it didn't take many tries for Mitch and it was first try from a Cobra, but it basically gave no advantage to either one. It's the worst. About an 8 second difference between our runners, um, through two worlds after, uh, that, uh, Sterling Symphony. All right, so three and four down. One, two, five, six, seven remain. I say five. Let's continue with this. Nope. I mean, you're going to be right eventually, so... I oh, yeah, one. well... Yeah. 7F2. Piranha Fort. Uh, Mitch kind of taking his time here. It's a nice power-up. This is exactly one of the two you want to see. It's going to be able to P-speed through this top section here. Ooh, rubs the pipe there, though. Um, was yeah. probably trying to avoid some damage, uh, which you you can do with that enemy, but you really got to rub the top of that pipe. 
Nice, uh, nice crawl there by, uh, the Cobra. Uh, he, uh... Staying close behind here. Over damage boosting as well, uh... To the final stretch. We got two clouds here. two clouds. Yeah, this is what I figured he's gonna do. I'm surprised. I guess they haven't played th uh, two or six yet, so, you know, he'll probably fight yeah. the hammer, bro, but... And he gets a cloud, so, I mean, you know, use a cloud, get a cloud. Well, this could but... be advantageous. Yeah, is he gonna go for the item here? No hammers. I think he should do it. Yeah, I... Ooh. He is going for yeah, it. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, this uh, could pay off. Uh, this is early enough to where you could actually justify this. This is a world, the sixth world, probably not. You just want to get out of here. Yeah. Plus, with the inventory situation of Bowser Adams, I mean, he doesn't get he doesn't get punished too hard there. I think it's only about an eight second difference between just playing the level normally. Yeah. Yeah, 10, 1041, so he got he has an extra cloud to play with, so he can he's still behind, he's behind a cloud he's up a cloud in that respect. Unfortunately, he didn't clip or he didn't uh, equip it here. Um, yeah, <laughs> the game. Well, but he gets the clip, so it doesn't matter. All right. All right, so we're in world six now. Uh, this would be a good spot to use a cloud. Uh, free pipe check. Uh, it's 4-5, not a particularly difficult stage. Yeah, Macobra's definitely gonna use a cloud here. I, I just, he's got way too many. Gotta start burning yeah. some, right? Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, he is gonna, I think, press the attack. He's 44 seconds back uh, after three worlds, but we've got a lot of game left to be played. We still have World 7 on the board. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay, uh... Surprise Mitch didn't just play the fort. So yes, kind yes. Of gambling so, here. Yeah, he is. Uh, there we go. I I would have played that fort, absolutely, 100%. Um, okay, so... I mean... You know, not necessarily going to decide it here, but I this could. Well, yeah. If this, if McCobra guesses right, uh, he gains a stage on uh, Mitch there. If he doesn't, it it's negligible. Um, so we'll see. So five F two, two of four. Which is it? Which is going to get us out of here? Oh, okay, Mitch got it right. Oh, man. That's tough. Yeah. And now, okay, yeah. Oof. That was wrong about it being negligible. It actually was uh, actually quite impactful. So, uh, yeah. it, as it turned as it turned, if it, if they were in reverse positions, it would have been, uh, it would have uh, paid off. So, Macobra is going to have to play uh, 5F2. Mitch is in uh, World 4 airship. He's got a Firefly, so he's got an easy fire kill. Oh, nice. Okay. Nicely done. So, 1330. Yeah, that, uh, that, uh, that was such a big gamble. Uh, and it, it ends up paying off, but you know, when you think about it, he actually went back, had to do the extra pipe transition and the hammer bro, so yeah, um, you know, if that didn't pay off, that was going to be big the other direction. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 1336 at halftime here. Um, so Macobra is going to be about a minute or so behind right now. Still not insurmountable by any means, uh, you know, no. especially coming into the next world here. Yeah. So, uh, World 7 air... Sh uh, world 7 is a 1-4 World 7. Uh, oh, wow! Oh. 
Uh, never mind. <laughs> Yikes. I can't believe I rolled this seed. This is so unlike me. Yeah, I mean, out of both out of it, you know, the half, the first half in under 15 minutes, World 7 is going to be a one and done. Yeah. So that just leaves two and five, both of which have the potential to be nasty, but, uh, you know, right now Mitch is going, is going for the kill here. He's got uh, a one-zip lead on uh, McCobra. He closes it out here. He'll move on to the semifinals. Cobra, he's played very well, but uh, his 50-50 gamble in World 6 did not pay off. It paid off for Mitch very nicely, so uh, let's see what happens. It looks like Mitt and Cobra's going down the same path, and there it is. Oh, boy. Oh, Mitch getting, <laughs> getting bodied by Ludwig. He got the treatment I got yesterday. That's the exact same pattern I got. You're the right. You're right. High jump. Yep. <laughs> You're right. So uh, a, a nice break there from a cobra. He's gonna gain some time back here on uh, on Mitch. Ah, uh, he's he's mad. <laughs> he's mad right now. <laughs> Yesterday when it happened, I would have been mad normally, but I was just like, you know, this is just not my day. Oh, McCobra actually opting to play the second Piranha stage. I think he's hoping for Hammer Suit at this point, or, you know, another another Cloud. Mitch, uh... Yeah, I think he's looking for uh, Hammer, probably. Uh, World 2 is still out there, right? It's correct, yeah. It's a five-hit Luddy, wow. So, 16.30 for, um... For for Mitch, but Cobra, if he keeps it clean here, is going to be about 30, 35 seconds back, uh, going into uh, the sixth world. Two or five, chat. Alright, he's going to get it as well. No, only single sky jump, okay. Yeah, he, he saw the jump, he's like, oh, he, I think he was ready to make a run at him, and then he's like, oh wait, no. Yeah. 17 uh, looking like oh. Hammer probably wouldn't be very useful here anyway, just based it, on this it, configuration. So. Yeah, it, it, it might skip. It might save you a stage or two, depending on how it breaks. It, it really depends where that second pipe is. Um, yeah. If it's if it's in like quicksand, for example, you'd probably get to skip some. You get to skip a stage or two, a stage, but that's about it. But, you know, if you have a hammer, you know, and, you know, it's anywhere but the end, you save yourself a pipe transition, so there is that. That's true. So it's still worth there. it, if you have one. Yeah. So we have now tanks. So, uh, McCobra played this in game one. Mitch did not. He did not end up with anything good, though. It was just a star. Sorry guys, I've had it on the wrong audio. I have now fixed it. We are listening to the leader's audio. Uh. So it was a and, and just a star, so vanilla item. Let's see what Mitch decide uh, McCobra decides to do. He is gonna play uh tanks. Oh, he's going for P speed. Yeah, this will save a little bit of time. Oh no, no dang. Well, never mind. As soon as I said it. Yeah, that's kind of a newish strat. You only see it in the Speedrunners Edition. Uh, it's pretty hard to do. So we have. Yeah, All right, the beta stage there. Mitch is out of there. Um, McCoper can get a little bit of time back here. I imagine they're both going to cloud this last stage here. Yeah, um, okay. And there's... <laughs> there's the, there it is. The game has to have a funny with us. Uh, so McCobra skipped 7-3 uh, beta. Yeah, I don't have time for this. 
Oh. Okay. Well, he probably would have rather played that one than this, although this was not super long either. No, it was a one-hit uh, Morton. Not very salty today. Uh, 1939. So Cobra still has a cloud to go with uh, in his arsenal here. Uh... Does he? Are you sure? It wasn't his I last think... one. I figured he would have used... Huh. We'll, we'll probably get a check here. Uh, no, he's, he's, uh, he's, okay. he's tapped. I guess he's looking for a Bowser item here. Yeah, that would be my assumption as well. And a nice, not randomized stage. Actually, I think there's one enemy randomized in the stage, but you never see it. <laughs> yeah. So, World 1 airship. Mitch having a little trouble here in 4 4 getting those P Speed strats to go his way. Uh, it's two hit on. Uh, Morton, but Macobra's still over a minute back, uh, 2042. Cobra does not have a cloud. So, no Paradox Pipe. Uh, okay, gonna have to go back, play the Blue Fortress. Yeah, strangely enough, you can still tell... Uh, which fortress breaks the lock in this world it is the blue one, except if there are three fortresses. It's only Correct. Yeah. Okay, he's out of cloud. He does not have a hammer. He does not have a cloud, so he is going to have to play four four. This would actually be a good stage to cloud. It's actually kind of on the longish side because of all that swimming. One and getting dry bones, you know, just the typical four of one experience in randomizer. Yeah, pretty much. But he got the star, so he orbs uh, boom boom, so it all evens out. So we got a shot at sub thirty here. Mitch Golden yeah. Frog suit. Interesting. You know, I might have saved this because they haven't played. Have they played 3F2 yet? I don't think they have. No, no, they have not. Uh... Ooh, trying oh, to use the... <laughs> that would have been hilarious. I, w I don't think he was sure if that could work either. I wasn't. Using gamble does not quite pay off, so uh, three hits done. Twenty-three thirty-five for or twenty-two thirty-five for Mitch. Um, a cobra on his way into four F one. Also going top route, and yeah, he gets dry bones as well. Yeah, right. always getting the, the double dry bones there. I don't really see a situation where we don't get a sub-30 here. I just, you know, it have to be a nine-minute long. <laughs> yeah, yeah four, of, of, well, World 7 took about four, seven minutes for Mitch last time, and he won. So we have, okay, we have uh, Super Tanks leading off. Uh, Fred. Repipe Monty after this. Alright, so we get a forward all the way, right away. You actually are love to see this if you're Macobro, because this is going to give him an opportunity to get back here. Depends on how he decides to play this after he finishes Super Tanks. He is 58 seconds behind. Alright, so there's regular okay. tanks behind past a hand. There's Navy and Air Force. Hmm. You know, if you're behind, do you just cross the hand and go for it and do the pipe checks? I mean... I, uh, like I don't know if I would. Um, actually, I would have explored more in the dark area. So that pipes out. I, I, I think I would just kind of follow the line a little bit. Uh, so there's our third pipe check. Where's this gonna take us? 
Oh, oh. boy. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Uh, unless so... the cobra goes top right. The last one. Yep. Oh no. Yeah, you just need to go straight to the pipe. Dang. And Lacobra is exploring, and this is not going to work out for him. Mitch is just a few, uh, just about a minute away from securing the final semi-final spot. Yep, he's, uh, about a clip away here. Yep, he's gonna check the item. Gets his fire flower, so we set up nicely for, uh, 35 fireballs against, uh, Bowser. Nice. Macobra doing what I like to see. I don't see a lot of people do this, but you got a tail. Take this last pipe. Look yeah. at this. So fast. Yeah, Mitch, Mitch still going for the clip here. He's got a... Really making a run at it here. Oh, okay, he finally go. gets it on his... I think that was his eighth attempt. So, uh, unfortunately for Macobra, that's not going to be enough to save him. And, uh, he will be, uh swept here. Uh, 35 fireballs, all that's needed to take care of Bowser and Cobra. Doing a quick, to make a quick work of him. And I, I think and, this is our yeah. I think this will be our fastest time of the tournament. I think you're right, yep. I, in, in fact, I'm sure it is. I think 27 was our fastest before this. But, uh... Bring out the GGs, but Mitch Flower Power finishes with an official race time of 26.37. Huh. And Macobra's gonna finish right behind him here with also a very good time. Um, probably, you know, factored into how he ended up playing World 8 as well, because he's like, wait, my yeah. time's really good, you know? It's, it's tough in these fast seeds, because when you're playing well, and it's, you know, the worlds are short, and the levels yeah. aren't too difficult, you know, your opponent might be having just as good of a time. Alright, and we are welcomed by our winner of uh, today's match, Mitch Flower Power, GG. Yo, thanks guys. It was fun. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, uh, that second seed, that's rocket fuel, I think. <laughs> Yeah, that was really fast. That was like that World Seven had one four. Why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like everything was basically uh, coming up uh, nice and clean and neat. Uh, we are joined by Macobra Fifty Two. GG. 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 Mitch. Oh, GG, man. <laughs> fast seeds, dude. Yeah, well, um, that's that's definitely a plus. <laughs> Especially really, yeah. so what? Pretty. what? I'm curious for for both of you since those seeds were so quick. Like, what what did you think going through it? Do you think you know? Am I doing well, or do you think you know maybe my opponent's ahead of me and they're having just as good a time as I am? Oh, when they're that fast, I normally think that we're we're at least on par because a lot of it was pretty straightforward. Like World One was just go down, clear the fort. World Five was just go to the pipe, clear the fort. World seven, yeah. yep. World seven could have been different because I went to the first pipe and then I, we went to Island two that had four pipes, but I went right. I don't know if you went down, no, he, he or did, not. He did the same thing. Okay, then yeah. yeah. So it's, <laughs> I was like, I hope he went down or like gambled the far pipe in the first island, but yeah, yeah. everything else was just super yeah. fast. And those world dates were not, except in C two. C2, the world date, was like, you might as well just clear all of them before running mm -hmm. all the way back. Yeah. Yeah, what, yeah, what ended I... up... Go ahead. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, because you had to do, like, three pipe transitions to get back to... Yeah, know, yeah and the last uh, two pipes were beside there, yeah. each other. They're the last yeah. two ports, so... It's... Yeah. What what ended up swinging uh, what ended up swinging game two was uh, the fifty fifty play uh, in World Six. 
uh, those those two forts. Uh, you guessed correctly, uh, Mitch, uh, playing uh, the fort in its vanilla location, and that saved uh, you from having to play two forts. So that gave you about a 40-second cushion for most of it uh, the rest of the way through. Damn. I was actually going... I got so ner I was going to Cloud in that World 3, because we needed yeah. a bridge, we beat a fort, and unlocked. But I was like, no way, man, because if I Cloud, then I have to come back if there's a lock yeah. in front of the castle. That World 3... I wanted to Cloud there, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that was, I, I, we certainly understood the temptation, like, the more we saw, like, boy, this could really pay off, uh, you know, it ultimately ended up being uh, a wash, but both of you did the exact same thing, uh, just differently, uh, in terms of routing. Yeah, cool. So. Yeah, I was kind of curious, since you didn't play that fort till later if you were just going to go play the other but it ended up being good that you played it you went back checked you got the free pipe checks as soon as you scroll the screen you're like oh the locks on the island so it's free so yeah that yeah. Uh, was pretty big when i saw the lock i was like i was like kind of happy but also sad i was like i it's better that i didn't take a risk like that that's like a you lose this race like yeah right? yeah and it's sure. right at the start yeah. too could have tilted but that's about it for me yeah and yeah, Macobra, and the, you know, the, I can't even call what happened in World Six a mistake. I mean, it was just a, it was a coin flip, but that really was it. Uh, but otherwise, you guys were basically running, matching each other the whole way through. And, yeah, that that uh, that's like that's like. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh, the Mitch clip seven one, and then Macobra goes in with a tail, and he's like, "Ah, oh, this is easy. Let me do it first try, Mitch." <laughs> seven six. Yeah, but yeah, that was, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, that was definitely a highlight. And then yeah, and game one, I know you had said you were feeling like a little, you were feeling behind after those unfortunate early deaths uh, in World One, and then uh, hoping that the double hammer trick uh, gamble would pay off and uh, swing the race around. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, kind of see. It kind of seemed like you you felt like you must have been behind just because of the two early deaths and decided to go for that. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, Against yeah. someone like Mitch, he's you know he makes very little mistakes. You know, if any in the execution department. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I died in C yeah. two. I died on the stupid world set. I was so upset about that because like, I why did I just oh, wait? Yeah. Because they always do that stupid, crazy high jump and i jumped right into him <laughs> yeah yeah you know. hack ha yeah, hacksaw was saying that uh, that the, the same thing happened to him in uh, game two yesterday so you had double double jump and uh you uh collided with him both times like oh i think uh, that's uh, i make that mis i make that mistake a lot myself it's like it's so easy like you just want to go and jump on the guy it's like oh wait i gotta i gotta hold on for a sec here yeah and he's famous for his high jumps too right like he always yeah high jumps. Mm -hmm. so uh yeah so that we... one's that one's tough i don't know it's like most of the time you want to challenge him because if you don't then he's gonna high jump on you but yeah you yeah got the, the one pattern that when you challenge him both times you just die you just waited yeah so uh so mitch uh you're in the uh the semi-finals uh for the fourth uh straight year uh congratulations on that um right on. i your, think i'm first second first second right uh yes and then uh or second, third, first. Yeah. You, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, your thoughts on your play uh, leading up to this? Uh, my group stages were not very good because I wasn't practicing all that much. But I've I've been practicing a little bit more, and my I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with it, and just mm -hmm. practicing Mario three altogether. Getting back into the yeah. group has has definitely helped my control for Mario for certain situations. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm pretty ready. Rando's always a, a stress-filled fifty-fifties. So I'm just. <laughs> you know. You go. You do what oh. you can. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I got the the magic of the coin flips. Uh, today they really paid off for you. Uh, we'll see what happens uh, in your semifinal match uh, with uh, with Haxor uh, yep. later this week. Yup, and 26.39 there, whatever. That was the fastest one I've ever done, I think. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's, uh, I've, I've, I've 
that is the fastest time in this tournament. Uh, I think the fastest I've seen in a race setting, I think it was a DLP did like a 26.30 uh, a couple of months ago. And in a weekly, I think it's like, wow. It's like we all, we all, we all, we all finished under 30 minutes in that one. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Well, well, thanks for having me, guys. And GG McCobra. Thank you. GG um, Mitch. Yeah. GG. Yeah, you take it easy, guys. All right. Thanks, Mitch. Uh, any final thoughts, uh, Macobra? He's sadly uh, departing uh, about a round earlier than we would have expected, I'm afraid. Just bet, just because of the draw. Yeah, unfortunate. But what do you do? It's a, it's a finals rematch from last year, so <laughs> it could have won. Yeah. It could have swung it away, to be honest. But nah, it's it's been fun as always. Uh, thank you all for comms. And thank you for speaking for hosting as always. Um, you'll you'll yeah. see me you know, hosting the Challenge Cup, of course, and who knows? <laughs> we shall see. Absolutely. So th Absolutely. so thanks all. Th so thanks to our runners. Uh, thanks again as always to Speed Gaming. Uh, so yeah, so we have uh, the semifinals this week. Uh, we'll see uh, when Hacksaw and Mitch uh, schedule their match. Uh, Wednesday, uh, me, Pro A007, will be taking on uh, Teex88 at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday in uh, the first semifinal match. And uh, see so, yeah, how that, that should be a very good match. Uh, pretty even, I'd say. Um, you know, two very different styles uh, going head to head. That should be very interesting. And uh, then we'll have the uh, the other semifinal uh, finals and third place matches are TBD at this point. It's going to depend some uh, some on availability. The goal is Friday, July second for the uh, for the for the finals. So, uh, but further updates will be provided as uh we uh, get everything straightened out as far as availability is concerned but do stay tuned for that sounds good to me and uh, but you know in the meantime i believe there's some challenge cup stuff that'll be coming up too as well yep um over the next week because they're in their final four as well all right so well thanks to the hacksaw for joining me uh this afternoon for a very entertaining quarterfinal match and uh ggs once again to mccobra and mitch flower power for a very good race yep have a good rest of your day everybody all right thanks everyone <laughs>